Have you ever had one of those times where things just weren't going right for you? A period of time where it felt like everything was just off. A time that makes you question everything that you've been doing with this craft and trying to become better and grow. Well, that's happened to me in the past. And then something happens, a little blessing, which kind of just turns you around and makes that creative blood flow. And then once you get your hand on it, you kind of just get into that creative flow state where time just seems to disappear. Where all of the worries and anxieties that we deal with every day kind of just evaporate for a short period of time. Well, that happened to me and I'm excited to share my experience with you. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Viltrox 13 millimeter F1.4 and how it's reminded me of the deeper reason why I love video creation and photography. This isn't gonna be a traditional review video. This is just gonna be me out in the field shooting with this thing so that you can see the type of shots that you can get with it. It's obviously an amazing wide angle sharp prime lens and it's perfect for nature shots, for vlogging, real estate shots, astrophotography, low light situations and landscape shots. I'm using the ZV-E10 because that's the only APS-C camera I have but man, I'm impressed. I originally reached out to Viltrox to see if they had a macro lens that I could use with my ZV-E10. And they said, unfortunately they don't, but they would be happy to send me out this lens. So it came in a nice box with a couple lens covers and a lens hood. And I quickly started to explore and dive into the world of wide angle shots. For vlogging, the picture is so sharp. Came out to this uh, little wooded area because I wanna see what kind of nature shots I can get. I think that F1.4 aperture really helps sharpen up the image around the edges and that's pretty much what I shot with the entire time. I think originally they made this lens for Fujifilm, but they sent me the one for the Sony mount so I could attach it to my Sony cameras. It has a very quick autofocus, which is a huge help because normally with apertures as low as 1.4, you lose that autofocus and have to use manual focus. So I was using touch autofocus on the ZV-E10 and then I would just switch it over to manual to stay locked on to my focus point. I was using the Micro 2 Plus slider, which is my favorite slider because it only needs one tripod. The lens is built very well. It's not made of plastic and it just feels nice and sturdy. It's 420 grams, which is semi-light compared to some of the other APS-C wide angle lenses out there. I threw an ND filter on the end for a couple shots so I could maintain that F1.4 aperture. And the front lens thread is 67 millimeters if you're into using ND filters or polarizers. There's really no buttons on it. I've been using it a ton to get astrophotography and I'll even be making a video about that next week. It has a smooth aperture ring on the outside that's super smooth on the pole. And there's no image stabilization, so you'll have to throw it up on a gimbal, activate active stabilization in your camera, or throw it on a slider. It's not weather sealed, so don't do this because you might touch the water and mess the lens up. Anyways, I went out to shoot with this thing and it felt so good to kind of just fall into that creative state. And it really goes to show that the equipment that you have helps you more focus on the storyline and the framing rather than trying to get the picture right and the lighting right and everything like that. 
Gear isn't everything, but it does have its advantages. So that's really all I have to say about it. I'll let the lens speak for itself through the imagery that you're looking at on your screen. I think it's one of the cheaper lenses that's out there. And if you're looking to get a wide angle lens for your ZV-E10 or any APS-C camera, I highly recommend it. A big thank you to Viltrox for sending me this lens. You'll be seeing shots out of it pretty much from here on out on my YouTube channel. I'm Joe, you're whatever. Let's meet back here next week.